Guten Tag. Good morning. friends off at the mountain hut in the mountain behind where George's town is. Basically his town is on like the side of a mountain really, kind of. Um, and so they have a mountain hut just like the one we talked about in day 44. Um, and so they're staying up there and so we just drop them off and it's really bumpy. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, it's a mountain road that's why. Yeah it's a mountain road so it's pretty bumpy. But, um, we're back now in his hometown. It's been a... We came back today from the mountain. We, we weren't staying. We were at a different mountain, but it was only like maybe an hour away. Mm. Not very far away. Um, not this one, but... Uh, yeah, we're back now. We came back this, uh, this afternoon. A quick lowdown on our weekend. What was the best part for you, George? Um, I don't know. It was quite... Just pick one thing. The first Quite thing various, because... We Ver various. variable variable That's yeah it. like it was quite variable because we had cold mountain and we had hot sea side all in two days really yeah but me personally I would choose the seaside I mean if I'm thinking in the long run I'd rather spend more time on the sea than in the mountain maybe oh yeah yeah depends really on the people when you're on the mountain. And if you have like people that want to do like go for hikes and go and do stuff during the day. Yeah. And, and you have to be... eat nice food in the evening. That's nice. It's a good way yeah. to spend the time. Yeah. I but guess if you go, if you go to the mountain, you should really make a plan of what you want to yeah, visit, yeah. what you want to do and it so on and so on. It has to be a good on. place and it has to be your staying in a good place, I think. Yeah. But That's the beach is the beach is more the like beach, the. There's always you can always. Do stuff you just you, go you there just, and you, you melt. You don't have to do anything. You can just sit there really. You can melt. My it's favorite like part would have to be the sea and eating it's so nice. the food in Greece. I don't know why we ate octopus, shark. White shark. White. <laughs> why are you keep saying that? White shark. No, there's different. I've never types seen of a black shark, but. No, no. When it comes to eating shark meat, there's different types of shark meat. I'm, I don't know this kind of thing, but it's, I've never actually eaten Greek food before, ever. Like, I've always, my mom's spoken about Greek food, and obviously you've always heard people talk about Greek food and Greek salad, blah, blah, blah. I don't actually think the Greek salad was as good as Bulgarian salad. Uh-huh, thank you. <laughs> I don't know why. I've just got used to the Bulgarian cheese. I think the Bulgarian cheese tastes better in salad than feta does. Feta yeah. tastes better in other things. Mm. But... Anyway, we ate octopus, which I've never eaten before, and it tastes like chicken. It tastes like chicken, but then it tastes like fish. It's like eating, ch it's like eating chicken and fish at the same time, which was cool. Shark, I didn't like shark. I don't know why. You didn't like it? No. Mm, I think it's it kind just, of like really, really soft meat. Sort it's soft of soft fish. Like it just tastes it, like any other fish to me, really. It's easy for your body to take. Yeah, yeah. And consume. That's how I felt eating it. And oysters, but I've had oysters before. And oysters. Like a, I don't were... see the I don't see the big hurrah about oysters. Uh, I don't know. It's They're like a fine. tiny it's like a tiny little thing you eat it. Yeah. Um but yeah, I thought the food was really good in Greece on Saturday. It was the whole like it was really testing. Saturday night was testing. So we went to Greece on Saturday, we spent the day in Greece on Saturday. Typical beach day. We had such a good time. We went in the sea, we were we lay on the beach, we I read my book. Obviously, because we were staying there, we didn't have to rush off, which was nice, because any other time we would have to leave by four or five to get back. Yeah. And so we got to see the sunset. The sunset was just amazing on the beach and put the tent up. By this point, quickly realising how burnt Sarah was. I'm burnt. I'm sticky. There's nowhere I can have a shower. And there's one thing that I hate is sand. I just don't like sand getting everywhere, and I don't like being sticky. 8, 9 o'clock in the evening, we have to put a tent up 
the tent was not made for the beach. The tent is made for the mountain. So it's impossible to hammer these things into sand when it's supposed to be hammered into dirt. So that took time. Um, but we put a mattress in it, which made, like, in the end, we had, like, this much space to sleep in. I'm sticky, I'm sweaty, and then the mosquitoes arrive. Oh, yeah, the mosquitoes were just crazy. And, like, in the space of maybe five minutes... It was like a mosquito storm. We're trying to put up a tent. We're trying to put blow up a mattress and there's mosquitoes attacking us. But anyway, so then we went and ate the food. Really good food. Starting to calm down a bit. We went back. We're exhausted. We haven't. We can't go to the toilet properly because there's no toilet. We have a, one shower on the beach. We go to sleep in this tent and it's like, I don't know. Like, just imagine you're lying there. There's the both of us. We can't move. If we roll over, we wake the other person up. So we're both lying there on our bags and there's no space to move. With both of our shoulders, that's it. That's the, that's the width of the tent. The tent is here. Like that's as far as away as it was from my head. Every time there's wind, I can feel the wind. It's so claustrophobic. And then I, I think I got sunstroke at some point because I just started feeling so sick. I thought I was gonna throw up any second. So George gets out. And he's like, I'll go and sleep outside on the beach. And then the wind arrives from nowhere. There's wind. <laughs> yeah, it was quite heavy. And so the wind, wind was well. blowing the sand into the tent. And so in the end, 5 a.m., we fall asleep with the tent open. So it was a bit more air because it was just so hot. Woke up at quarter to seven. We woke up at quarter, no, quarter to eight. Mm. Quarter to eight, we wake up and it's like, bam, the sun is on. Like, That's you wake how it up. Works. You wake up straight away, you're sweating. It was just boiling hot. And yeah, we've never moved so fast in our life. Straight after waking up, we woke up and we were like, get out of the tent! <laughs> Jumped out of the tent. And um, then we just fell asleep on the sand for a bit. I enjoyed it. And it was an amazing experience to wake up on the beach and be able to see the sea in front of you. It was so cool. And then... Sunday was a good day, the weather wasn't that great, but that was good because it meant that we wanted to leave, really. If yeah. it had been nice weather, we wouldn't have wanted to leave. We went to the mountain, and the mountain was really good, just time with George's friends, George's group of friends. So, yeah, that's a quick catch-up of everything we did this weekend. We're absolutely shattered, and it feels like it's yeah, Sunday evening, so but it's sleepy. Tuesday evening. And on Friday, we leave again for Sofia. We're still trying to fit as much in as possible. Even Yay. if we wake up in September and be like, what happened? And I actually have a, a bit of a tan now. Yeah. I'm like, this is white and this is tan. I'm like, maybe here now. <laughs> uh -huh. It's a week until George's magazine shoot comes out. So everybody get excited! <laughs> excited! I think it is. What the day today? It comes uh, out on the 27th. I mean, see you tomorrow. De outre.